So we are in uh, the Electronic Music Studio. We're in the Fine Arts Building, room 348. I like to call it the Egret Studio because we have a mural of an egret here, but, but I'm the only one who calls it that, so. <laughs> Before maybe a year ago, it was cluttered with old tech and we had kind of a limited space and limited capabilities with what we could do. Sabi really spruced it up. So in its renovated state, it's brand new. Moog is, uh, you know, kind of the iconic name in, in synthesizers. So we were great, we were lucky to have a Sub 37 in here. This guy here is a, is a Eurorack. Uh, these are, uh, it's a modular synthesis uh, synthesizer with lots of different modules you can swap out and it makes all kinds of weird sounds. I really like the speakers. There are very limited spaces within the school where there is actual surround sound and electronic software to write music in surround sound. I love how quiet it is in here. When I close those doors, I can play as loud as I want in here and if you're in the hall, you can't really hear anything. Students from any background are welcome here. DJ, EDM production, that sort of thing, but a lot of students are also interested in writing, scoring for video games and scoring for film. And so um, I'm working really hard to bring those kinds of programs here. What do I value most about my teachers and their teaching style? They seem to really care about music and what they do. I think it will be a magnet for students who want to have a high quality studio space with good acoustic treatments and really great monitors and it's a room where we have the resources to really experiment with electronic music and to make new noises and make new music. It's just a great resource for exploration and creativity. It's like a clean slate and we can, we can do whatever we want with it in the future. So. <laughs>